This video is brought to you by Scopic.com. Get yours now. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Phil from cage.com. What I have here today is the Huawei Honor 8 Pro. It is also sold under the name Honor V9 in mainland China, but they essentially is the same phone. So let's dive right in. The Honor series is the sub-brand of Huawei. They are usually cheaper with seemingly lower specs than the main lineup like the P series or the Mate series. But this guy is a bit different as a top-notch model from the Honor series. It still is relatively cheaper than the main lineup, but it's got a pretty powerful specs including the Kirin 960 octa-core processor so before we take a look on the phone let's dive in with the packaging so what you see in the packaging at the first glance is this box where most of the things are included in so here we get a little packet with the sim card tray removal tool here we have the usb type c cable of course with the usb type c port for the phone and the usb type a port for your charger and that's nothing special until you get to this packet with the sim card removal tool and a pair of lens right there so these lenses will be used for something a bit later I'll explain in no time and here's a quick start guide in Chinese but of course if you get in in any other regions that it's going to come in your own language here is a support and the little promotion card I don't know I don't I don't speak Chinese so here is the sim card removal tool you can use that to get access to the sim card tray and the lenses so this is just like the google cardboard you can use this guy for your semi pseudo vr experience you know it's just for fun and this is where the lenses kick in so you put you install two lenses right there i'm not really sure if this is the right direction or if i'm doing it right i'm just doing it for the sake of showing you guys of course when you're doing it for yourself make sure that you keep the lenses clean and here's a little separator between the left eye and the right eye you install that right there and where the phone goes in is the bottom half of the box so that is where the phone goes in with the button right there with the button placeholder right there you put your phone and put the goggle part back in and now you have a you know semi goggle so you just put that in your eyes and you can have a decent VR experience I haven't tried this yet but theoretically it should work fine it doesn't have a strap that you can just strap it onto your head but for just like a quick music video guide for three or four minutes it should work totally fine so anyway that's the vr in case if you want some vr fun i don't know what that might be but anyway so let's get inside to the phone this is the honor 8 pro 5.8 inches of a qhd display that's a pretty big display and the phone itself is pretty big this is almost identical as the iphone 7 plus size and receiver 8 megapixels of camera sensors right there and the keys not there because they're built in as a soft key it's a huawei thing that huawei does like to fill around with the buttons whether to make it a force sensitive display or to put like a one fingerprint reader that doubles as a back home and the multitasking key but this is just a standard soft key power key volume rocker and on top we got the infrared port for your controller remote controller the secondary microphone for noise cancellation and the sim card tray you can install two nano sim cards or one nano sim plus one micro sd card there isn't a dedicated port there there is a usb type c port 3.5 millimeter standard headphone jack microphone and a speaker and that's pretty much it until we get to the back. The rear is where Huawei had most of their fun. It's got a dual camera, 12 megapixels of dual camera. They say dual lens right there with the dual LED flash and the antenna slit right there with the fingerprint reader. That's, uh, that looks a tad smaller, but it should be able to handle its job without any problem nonetheless. The Honor logo there, and that's pretty much it. It doesn't say Huawei anywhere because Honor itself is another brand that they're pushing around. If you have found some similarities, here's the iPhone 7 Plus. They are almost identical in physical dimensions. I think they might share the exact same numbers. Of course not. But um, here we go with the dual camera equipped iPhone 7 Plus and the Honor 8 Pro. And the front also shares a bit of a similarities, although the Honor 8 has higher resolution with the bigger screen. Now that it's done booting up, let's go ahead with the settings. So there are numbers of languages available and as a usual drill, we're going to skip most of the things and go ahead with the settings. Okay, so here we are at the launcher and it runs the latest operating system, Android Nougat. 7.0, it's not 7.1.2 latest, but it still is one of the latest. And the EMUI 5.1, that is certainly the latest from Huawei. The new EMUI 5 series, the best thing about that one is that you can now have a app drawer 
unlike the iPhone layout forced older EMUI version. So if you have that, you can have the app drawer. There are indexes, A, B, C, D, E, F right there. You can use that and you can put whatever icons that you want on the home screen as long as you want them and not have to have every single app on the home screen, whether you like it or not. We can make the screen a little bit brighter by that. I'll turn the auto off and there we go with the QHD screen. Now, the rest of the specs, it's got a Kirin 960 octa-core processor. That's pretty powerful. 4 gigs of RAM with 64 gigs of storage or 6 gigabytes of RAM with 128 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes of storage. And as I said, you can expand that even further through the micro SD card slot and there is a 4,000 milliamps of bigger battery built in right there. And this is how the interface looks like, camera, clock, compass, everything that you need is built in, although I think I'll need to choose another theme. They have a weird taste for the default themes. Anyway, we'll go ahead and see how it performs in real life and with that Wolf Fair 3D modeling camera, that seems pretty exciting. And I'm not really sure if I'll have enough time to perform a full review on this guy, but I'll try anyway. Lastly, for the pricing, in mainland China, it starts around at 400 bucks for the basic tier. And for the top tier, it goes all the way up to 500 $40-ish prices and that is expected to go higher when it hits other market aside from already having markets like Europe uh, including Russia. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment. You can meet us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus and of course we'll see you guys later. Ciao!